Hello, my friends. Thanks for joining me. It's Tassel Tuesday. I am participating in hashtag Boho Summer Collab. This collaboration is hosted by Natalie at Line.Arrow, Junk Journaling for Everyone, Haystack Crafty Corner, and Sweet Pea Papers. Each one of them has a Facebook group and a YouTube channel. So if you wanted to hop in and be part of this Boho collaboration, you can do that. I will link their YouTube channels in my description box. Natalie of Line.Arrow and Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts created a Bohemian Summer Kit together. And that's what they'll be using for their paper crafting portion of this collaboration. The collab started on May 7th and it ends on June 5th. No worries if you can't do everything in the collab, like I can only do the tassel. I don't have time to do all of the wonderful things, which I wish I did. And actually, I've never made a boho journal and I really, really, really wanted to participate and do that part of the collaboration as well, but I just don't have time this month. So I will have to do a boho journal another time. I have a lobster claw clasp here and then it has this thing on it, this long thing, and that's so that I can put beads or something on there. So I thought that would be perfect for this boho tassel. I am twisting my fibers up so that I can get all of them in that, that circle, that, that O-ring or whatever we want to call that. And as I'm working on twisting the fiber, I'm going to tell you that um, I had all of this fabric in a bag for like over a year. And I was saving it to make a tassel and I had just never gotten around to doing it. And then this collab came up and I was like, ah, perfect. It's the perfect colors. It's the perfect everything. So I grabbed the bag. Everything was already cut and, you know, the fibers were already torn and cut and all that. So it, it was just great and, and made made making this tassel so easy. So you can see that I pushed the fabric through the, we'll call it an O-ring of because I, I don't know what else we would call it. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I wanna let you know that if you are new to tassel making, I have a playlist. Um, I, I did Tassel Tuesday for, gosh, I think a solid year. And so there are tons of videos of me making all kinds of different tassels, if that's something that you're interested in. So I'm leaving in one week from today, heading out to Vegas for my niece's wedding. And um, I'm gonna actually end up staying at my sister's house. And so um, I have probably never shared with you guys that I don't travel easily. I love to travel, but I, I just, I don't know. I, you know, my body hurts and you know, just things. So I need like, like so many pillows and I need, I need a fan. I have to have a fan or I can't sleep. And you know, it's, it's just me. So since I'm staying with her, I was like, well, you know, I'm saving a lot of money on a hotel. So I am placing an order on Amazon and I'm having pillows shipped to her house a fan <laughs> shipped to her house, some protein powder, some chicory <laughs> protein bars and stuff like that. And that way, at least I can have some of the comforts from home that will hopefully help me so that I can be comfortable and actually get some rest. So uh, anyway, I just think that's a funny thing, but I got to do what I got to do, right? Okay, so we have pushed the fiber through the O-ring. We tied it just below the O-ring. Tie that really, really tight. That'll help keep all of your fibers in place. And I actually uh, end up going around it again and tying it even a little tighter because I felt like some of my fibers were a little bit loose. So you'll see me wrap it around the back and then tie it again. Once I'm done tying it, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it just to make sure it's somewhat even. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight across and you don't even really want that look, but you know, you don't want ones hanging down super, super low. You'll see that I trimmed it at an angle like that. I like my fibers to be cut at an angle. Uh, so I, I tend to do that and it keeps it from looking too uniform. You know, it's like if you try to cut it straight, 
It's like when you're cutting your bangs and if you try to go straight across, but then it's not perfect, then you keep cutting and you keep cutting and all of a sudden like your bangs are so short. You, you can do the same with a tassel and you just don't wanna do that. So I have chosen some beads that I want to go ahead and put on this metal part. And I've chosen ones that I feel will coordinate nicely with the fibers that I've used. And then there's a little ball that just screws onto the end that will hold the beads in place. I have this decorative piece and this was recently sent to me in Happy Mail and it's just so pretty and I think it will be perfect on here. I'm going to make attaching this super simple and I'm just going to use a ball pin. I love how this tassel has turned out. I think it is so, so pretty. So I'm going to hang this in my craft room to inspire me to make a boho journal. I'm hoping that's something I can do this summer. Thanks for watching. See you soon.